Hello everyone, in this video tutorial we will tell you how to add the quiz poll feature to your app. Log into your account and go to your business dashboard. Next, click on manage app and you'll be redirected to the overview page. Next, under the edit test and go live section, click on edit. Now to add the quiz poll feature, click on the add feature button in the sidebar. Then click view all and search quiz. Click on the feature to add it to your app. Once you added the feature, you will see the feature listed in my feature section, where you can edit, customize, and organize the added features the way you want. Now hover over the feature and you will have options to show hide the feature, edit and customize the feature, delete the feature, and move the feature. Now let's check out what all you can do with the newly added quiz poll feature. Click on the pencil icon here to edit and customize the feature. This is your page or feature name. If you want, you can change it as per your needs. From here, you can change the feature icon. If you want, you can select a solid icon or an outline icon or an image from a library or upload your own custom icon image. Let's move to the content section now. Click on the add quiz poll button and you'll be redirected to the manage quiz poll section. From this section, you can add and manage quizzes or polls as per your needs. Now first, let's add a quiz. To do so, you need to select the quiz option from the mode dropdown. Once done, all the fields will be set for the quiz. Once you're done adding the question, click on save to continue. Now here you will see your added quiz. You can check the quiz details. Now hover over the region here and you will see multiple options through which you can perform different actions. Let's check them one by one. Click on edit to update the quiz details. Next, in general settings, configure the settings for the quiz from this section. Once you're done configuring the settings for this particular quiz, click on save. Please note the general settings for both and both the poll and quiz are different and the global settings as defined under the settings section will be applied to all the quiz poll but if settings are defined from here for a particular quiz poll, then this will overrule the global settings. Next comes language settings. Under language settings, you can manage all the text and alerts showing up on this particular quiz. Coming to CMS page, in this section you can upload the terms and conditions and privacy policy for this particular quiz. Next is set conditions option. With, this, with the set conditions, condition option you can lock a specific quiz or poll and set the conditions to unlock it. The users must satisfy the necessary condition to unlock the lock quiz or poll respectively. Here you can set the conditions for the quiz. For example, if you want to open quiz B for users after two days of completing quiz A, then you can set the conditions accordingly. Once done, click on save. Again, click on the three dot icon and here you will see the duplicate option. Click the duplicate option if you want to create a, a duplicate quiz of the existing one. Next, we have the inactive option. With this, you can make the quiz inactive. The last option is the delete option, which lets you delete the particular quiz. Now let's add a poll. Click on the add quiz poll button, then select the mode poll. Once done, the fields will be set as per the poll. Once you are done adding the poll, click on save to continue. Now here you will see your added poll. Now let's go to the dashboard. The dashboard displays the statistics of the quiz or poll. Now let's go ahead and move on to the manage category section. This section displays all the categories present in the quiz poll feature. Here you will see the default category has already been added. You can edit and update the category as per your needs. Hover over this area and click the three dot icon to view the, the options. Click this option here to add a subcategory under a category. Click here to update the category details. Now come into the report section. The report section provides the overall statistics of the quizzes and polls attempted by the app users. You can filter or sort the quiz polls for a quick search. Click this icon in the side menu and you will be redirected to the import export section. With the import option, you can add multiple quizzes and polls or questions in a single go by uploading a CSV file. You can also export the created quiz poll listings directly in the CSV format with the export section. 
Now coming to the settings, which is further categorized into general settings, language settings, and CMS page. First, let's see the general settings. The general setting contains global settings for both the quiz and poll, and it is further divided into subsections. Example, common global settings for both the quiz and poll, general settings for the quiz, and general settings for the poll. Please note, these settings are global and apply to all quizzes and polls unless settings are specifically defined for the particular quiz or poll from the Manage Quiz Poll section. Once you're done configuring settings for the quiz poll feature, click on Save to continue. Now let's move to the language settings. Under language settings, you will find all the general text and alerts displayed in the quiz poll feature. Coming to the CMS page, here you can set the generic terms and conditions and privacy policy that will be applicable if no TNC and privacy policy exists for a specific quiz or poll. Once you are done with the CMS page changes, click on save. Now let's go back and change the layout and color scheme of this quiz poll future. Click on this color palette icon to change the page style and color scheme. From here you can set the page element, color, font, and size. Now, let's enable in-app purchase for this future. Click the in-app settings icon in the sign menu, then under in-app settings, enable the in-app toggle and provide the necessary credentials in the required fields. Please note you can enable in-app for both Android and iOS. For getting the credentials, click on the question mark icon here and refer to our tutorial. After providing the credentials, you can use them as global credentials by checking this checkbox here. Please note you can also add new credentials if you want. Once you're done, click on save to save the changes manually or directly click the publish button to see the reflection of your latest updates on your mobile app. That's all for now. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates as soon as they are live.